Hi everyone, I just want to share with you some of my thoughts about witchcraft and what witchcraft is. A lot of people have their own definition and way of explaining this to others. Here's mine. To me, witchcraft is not a religion. Duh. You know, it gets used in many uh, religious contexts, so it's not really isolated to one religion. Um, it's a practice. Hence why it's called witchcraft. It's a craft of the witch. Um, but what is that to me? To me, that is a combination of history and lore. At least in this day and age, you need to know history and lore surrounding it. Um, there's a lot of great books coming out that have been coming out over the last 10 years that are dealing with uh, more non-Wiccan forms of witchcraft. Uh, as well as more academic and historical texts to kind of put witchcraft more into context in, in regards to history and not just 19th century occultism. Uh, but along with history and lore, I think witchcraft also involves magic, divination, herbalism, hedge witchery, and necromancy. Okay. I think it's a combination of all of those, an interplay between those various practices. Uh, I also think witchcraft can be polytheistic, it tends to be, um, but I also think it's animistic, meaning it, acknowledge, it should acknowledge, or that it does acknowledge, at least my path of witchcraft is animistic, where I acknowledge the land spirits and I acknowledge my ancestors, you know, the dead. Uh, and because of that, you know, at least because of the ancestor aspect, I think that's where the necromancy comes in. In combination with the magic, you have spirits and evocation, and by default, the minute you start asking questions of the dead to get answers, you're performing a form of divination a la a, a uh, necromancy, <laughs> you know, um, which is basically necromancy. So, which is a form of divination, but it's a form of divination that also encompasses magic and things like that. So, uh, but along with magic and necromancy, you know, you start burning incense, for example, or using entheogens, which are uh, herbs that are used to induce a trance state or to produce or to uh, create an altered state, uh, which can be used for astral projection, you know, soul flight things like that, traveling between the worlds, traveling uh, to the underworld, to the upper world, traveling throughout the middle world. Um, so that's how herbalism kind of comes into it, along with hedge witchery, uh, which is kind of uh, hedge crossing and getting into the, you know, pretty much the practice of getting into an altered state and trance state for journeying and moving and standing between the worlds kind of thing. Uh, I'm doing hand gestures right now, but you can't see that I'm doing hand gestures. I have that tendency to speak with my hands because I'm Italian. <sighs> what are you going to do? Uh, so to me, witchcraft is a combination of all of those elements. Um, I'm not implying you have to do them all. I'm not implying you have to be extremely proficient at everything. But I think in generally witchcraft is a combination of those six elements you know an interplay between those various things so let me know what you think